Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like. Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe. Welcome back to all of my returning subscribers. I hope you're all doing well. If you would like to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video. Okay, you guys, so let's get into your reading. So you're starting off with communicate, compromise, forgiving, and working something out here. Okay, so it looks like you might get a text message. Feels mostly like a text message. I don't feel like that's a phone call because um, of the little text bubbles. But let's take a look and see. Somebody will be communicating with you, Virgo. And this reading will be from the time you're listening to this through January. Okay, so first, ooh, we got cards flying out here. Um, looks like someone's going through some kind of change, um, relocating, coming out of a tough cycle and transitioning, facing their fears. So I feel like there is going to be someone um, coming your way, Virgo getting over their fears to reach out, try to work something out with you, talk to you, see if you guys can come to some kind of compromise, a lot of forgiveness here, someone's going through a massive change, let's take a look and see what else, oh yeah, you've got the six of cups and seven of swords, okay, there is an apology of some sort, um, something to do with some deceit, lies, deception, theft, um, asking for forgiveness for something that was done. Okay, 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 okay. Let's take a look here and see what else is going on. All right, someone's like carrying around some kind of heavy burden of um, feeling as if knowing that they need to apologize to you. Okay, could this be a lover? Of course. It could be a friend. It could be a sibling. Um, but it looks like someone is stepping in to the situation and taking accountability for um, causing or being a burden or causing problems or giving stress. I feel like someone um, here is, is physically drained. Like they can't carry around. They're saying this, this burden anymore. They owe you an apology. Um, now maybe you don't feel like that someone owes you an apology, but whoever this person is, they want to talk to you again. And it looks like they want to try to get into a better place with you. Um, even there might've even been a running away. So, um, it might not have been like harsh words or something that was said. It could have been for some of you, um, somebody just like not being present or not showing up uh abandoning i'm hearing or just run like running away from the situation maybe you taking on all of the pain and the stress and the burden somebody somebody's lack of action has caused you to be the one to handle everything and deal with everything on your own Okay, and I feel like, yeah, there's someone here that's quite apologetic for that. And is asking or hoping that you will forgive them if they ask. Okay, it could be another Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, there's also going to be this paying you back for something. They come into some financial gain and... Uh, they even offer this gift to you to make up for something that they did. So it's not just an apology without like amends. Okay, this this is and this is I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me. How can I make it up to you? Okay, and it's funny because I feel like it, it comes down and then you know you look at it like. I don't know you contemplating Virgo that's you right there so yeah there is some kind of a gift or um, monetary pay 
a new, opp a new opportunity presenting itself through some communication. Okay. Some of you, I will say, I'm just getting this message that um, if you left a job or you were just like, you're done, you don't want anything to do with some company or something might have happened, there is some severance pay or some money coming to you. And there's also um, some an employer or a client even asking um, if you would come back to work for them. Uh, that kind of thing is playing out as well. Uh, if you did some work for someone and you never received your pay for that, um, they're going to, here they are, paying you back or giving you the money that's deserved uh, or that you owe if you did some hard labor. Um, there's also, if someone did some work for you, they overcharged you and they are coming clean about that and they're going to give you back the money or some refund. Okay, interesting. Let's see what else is going on here. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at this. Nine of Cups. So, yeah, I feel like somebody must have indulged. They kind of like didn't do what they needed to do and took advantage. Somebody took advantage of you and they're coming in to apologize for that. Okay, they, yeah, oh my gosh, the hermit. This person has been thinking real hard, really reflecting. I feel like this communication that comes in and this apology is sincere. I feel like this person uh, wants to, uh, they really mean it. That's what I'm hearing. They really mean it. Like they really are sorry for what they might have, what they brought or what they didn't bring to the table. Let me see. A whole bunch of cards. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Somebody was like really greedy. Hanged man in the reverse. Very impatient. Definitely an apology. Page of Cups and the Ten of Swords for betraying. There's an energy of betrayal. And here's the King of Cups was just sticking out of the deck. So for some of you, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it could be um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, so there will be some communication. And I feel like this person is going to ask for forgiveness for something they might have done or didn't do. Now, is this a love thing or is this platonic or a work situation? Okay, there's the High Priestess. Two of Pentacles. And the Queen of Cups. Hmm, they're not really telling me, but it could be a love, it uh, could be a love scenario, a romantic partnership. Virgo, I feel like you, um, you kind of already know that this person, like, it's like you already know or you already knew that this person was going to swing back around and make amends of some sort. You've intuitively known and it was just a matter of like, I, I feel like some of you might have been questioning if you should reach out to this person. Um, to give them an opportunity to apologize or to make something up to you. But you've been kind of weighing it and a little bit of like, well, maybe I should just let them come to me when, they, when they're ready to do it. Let them do it. But you've also may have been like, okay, well, when the time is right, I'll reach out and ask for my, my apology <laughs> of some sort. Um, yeah, Virgo. I kind of feel like though you aren't doing that and you may have decided you know you weighed the options and just decided you're going to keep quiet and you know just indulge yourself and make yourself happy and bring yourself to a good place and of course because of that i feel like somebody is turning around here and coming your way 
to communicate and try to make something up to you um, whether they owe you money or apologies for bad behavior in a relationship or lying deceit things like that i feel like someone here whoever this person is this either this earth sign or this water sign is going through a profound change and really coming out of their comfort zone um, to take this next step with you whether anything comes out of it remains to be seen we'll take a look but it feels like they, i don't know if they have like like there is a burden definitely a burden i don't know if there's guilt and remorse but i feel like somebody wants doesn't want to have like um bad energy between you and them if anything just kind of like neutralize the situation this could have something to do with it all right there is remorse yes for some of you this could have something to do with children or school uh school children uh, I'm just hearing not showing up for a play or a child, a school play of some sort as well. Um, somebody just feels like a lot of remorse, maybe not paying child support for some. There's just this like tremendous grief for um, cutting off, doing a cut off kind of thing or breaking a heart. Because even when I look at this guy on this card here, he's holding three swords, which is basically the three of swords in action. You know, this is somebody who's like, I don't know the heartbreaker, but there, there's a bit of like, they, 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 they just are intent on cutting people out and self-sabotaging and that kind of energy. So yeah, I, I feel like somebody's coming in to apologize and make it up to you or, or attempt to make something up to you. Whether you forgive them or not, obviously is up to you. Um, or if you want to start communication up and give somebody here another chance, yeah, you might be able to do that. Let's, it depends. Let me see a couple more messages here. Okay, you do have the King of Wands showing up here now. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is the King of Wands here? This could be with a fire sign as well. So we got fire, earth, and water. You know, the holidays are coming. People are like, oh, wanting to make things right. Okay, so this fire sign comes in with the Eight of Swords. Ooh, fire signs feeling really left out in the cold. Like, really, they're struggling. It looks like financial struggle that's affecting them mentally. Um, if you're dealing with the fire sign, I feel like this person... Oh, now here's the king of pentacles. Um, somebody might have been living with another person because they couldn't afford to pay something, feeling trapped or they couldn't afford to like live so they went and stayed with another person a brother or a friend or a sister <clears throat> okay the chariot borrowing their car to get around uh it looks like so if this is like money that's owed to you um somebody obviously like people only steal or th uh, thieve if they don't have the finances um to be able to afford stuff i feel like this person comes into some kind of money or some kind of you know uh, gratuitous gift and they're able to if it's a financial thing for you they're able to pay you back some money that they owe you they get back up on their feet. And as far as it being like a love situation, I do feel like someone is, um, there is this, there is a thing about someone not having, um, the, not having the finances to be able to participate in a relationship, um, because someone was broke and didn't want to le lean on another person. And now they're kind of coming out of that. And, um, coming forward to try to start something new here with you, Virgo. What's Virgo's going, reaction? What's Virgo going to do? You know, there's not a lot of love stuff. There's just a lot of, like, emotional regret. Okay. Hmm. Virgo, you got the death card. And that's Scorpio energy. So you might have Scorpio in your chart somewhere. But 
this makes me feel like your actions towards this person are just going to be like what's done is done. Um, I don't know if you're going to try to have a new beginning with them. After something ends, there's always a new beginning. So you might. But like I always say, you've got that free will. So that's up to you if you want to forgive, forget about it, and try to rebuild with someone here. You might want to. You might just say, forget about it. It's done. Thank you for the apology. Thank you for paying me back. And then move on. So it's kind of up in the air for you, Virgo. 